hello guys welcome back so now the next thing that we will do is basically to correct a small bug on our edit form okay whenever the user wants to edit the data you can say it is not a bug but you know let me just show it to you guys so that you can understand it for example if I want to edit this data let's say Aston Martin okay this second one if I click on it then it do not bring the old data here as you can see here also we have to fix this uh, bottom or flow error okay so for now let's just fix the first one which is to bring the old data here so then the user will be able to see what is the old data and what the user will want to change it okay and add it so for that what we need to do here on our go to the lift folder inside it we have our custom form field if you come here here we need to simply create another string type variable so let's just copy paste this and the name of this will be initial value okay initial value and then here we can first create down here the variable which will be underscore initial value okay just like this and then pass that here so initial underscore initial value equals to initial value okay just like this and make sure to put a comma not a semicolon okay so yeah that's it and then here in the text form field we can simply say style text style and the let's change the color for each text editor okay so we can say colors dot gray and then the initial value we can say initial value and pass the initial value to it underscore initial value okay just like this now we have to pass this new parameter which is the initial value for each uh, text form field for example here you can see you now you will see the errors here because we have to pass this new initial value parameter from the add item form let's come here to the add item form if you click here you will see it okay custom form field so you can simply say initial value from here we do not want to pass any value so we will pass this empty string just like this then we have another one down here also we can say initial value and empty string let's close this then we have on the added item form so here we will do the same with the custom form field for title we can simply say initial value and now here on the added form we have to pass something which is the current title so we can say widget dot current title and then for the description yes we can say initial value widget dot current description so this is for the edit form and now we have the login form so on the login form we can say initial value and then we can pass the empty string just like this also first of all let's test the app then I will tell you further so now let's just quickly log in and let's edit this one and as you can see now it brings up the old data here you can see it for example if I want to change here that is Aston Martin 2021 okay and then let's update you can also update the description so here you can see Aston Martin 2021 see it is working fine it will bring up the old data and then you can do any changes you want let me just check it update data okay so here you can see so that is really nice it is working fine as you can see here now the next thing is let me just restart the app 
we want to basically hide the unique user ID for example if I write my unique user ID then it is visible to you guys I mean to any person it is visible what we want is to make this in dotted form okay in secure form so for that what we want to do on the custom form field we are already passing a property which is the is obscure which is this one okay is obscure so for that what we want to do is by default it is false okay so when it is true it will convert any string to dotted form so on the login form okay which is here in the login form when we pass and we say initial value null okay because we do not want to display any text there we can simply pass another uh, I mean we can write here the property is obscure and we will make it true and now if we run the app so now let's just type any ID and now you will see it is now in secure form okay in dotted form also one more thing which I want to mention is this error about the when we want to edit any data and when we click here basically we see this bottom overflow by 84 pixels okay it is the UI error similarly the same error we have on the add data form if I come here whenever the user want to add new data here you can see so also let's remove this these errors okay so for that uh, let's close all the pages first okay the previous and now what we want to do we want to go to the edit item form first and where we have this widget build return form just click here okay and you will see this yellow bulb click on it and then you can simply uh, click on wrap with widget and then select this widget and simply type single child scroll view okay that's it similarly when we add new data okay which is add item form come here and here we have this widget build where we have this form so we want to simply click here okay and then click on this yellow bulb wrap with widget and then you can simply write here single child scroll view now let's test the app to see if it is working or not so the app is running now and now let's come here come here and here we go here you can see the error has been gone and now you can simply scroll also okay so yeah that is really nice now also let's go back to the add new item which is this page let's click here okay so here you can see the error has been gone successfully so congratulations our mobile phone app has been completed so yeah see you guys in the next video bye for now